have another wear test for you guys. Now this is gonna be different because it's not just gonna be labeled a wear test, it's also gonna be labeled a hot miss or hot buy. And I know my makeup is on so it's not a foundation. It is the Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer by House Labs. Now ever since Lady Gaga launched her beauty brand, everyone is talking about it. I have just tried the foundation like a few days ago. Although it wasn't my exact shade, I was able to really give you guys full feedback on that foundation from consumer reviews to my personal review as a makeup artist. And I'll let you know if the foundation is for you and your skin type or if you should totally skip it. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'm gonna link it up here. I highly recommend it. I also recommend you check out the Makeup by Mario foundation review and the wear test. That one was actually really good as well. I'll link that up here for you guys also. Today we're gonna review and do a full on wear test of the lipstick. This one is in the shade Cherry Shine. Now this is called the Atomic Shake Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. It is available in six shades. It goes for $26 and over at the Sephora website, it has three full stars out of five and that's based on 361 reviews. Now this has been hearted, so people in Sephora have given it a heart, 49.4 thousand times. Now the heart basically means favorite. It doesn't mean that almost 50,000 people absolutely loved it. It just means people have purchased it or saved it into their favorites. It's kind of like uh, that. I wanted to get creative and I figured if this is supposed to work the way people on TikTok, we might be debunking TikTok reviews now that I think about it. But if this were to work the way that people over on TikTok are saying, this is supposed to last the whole freaking day, no movement. I mean, these people were busy doing reviews on this product. It provides a high shine finish. It's long wearing. It is waterproof. It is clean at Sephora. It's fragrance free and it is cruelty free. It is a revolutionary clean transfer proof liquid lipstick that delivers high impact color with a glossy vinyl finish that lasts all day. Must shake well once applied with lips separated. Allow 15 seconds to activate transfer transfer. I couldn't get it out. Allow 15 seconds to activate transfer proof shine shield. The formulation says lipstick, liquid lipstick, and lip stain. Mm. The pros mentioned over at the Sephora website are the colors. I guess the color variation is nice. Satisfaction and that it is shiny. The cons mentioned are that it's sticky, it is drying, and that the application is weird or something. I don't know. But the very first verified purchased review here says they got the shade Cherry Shine, which is the one that I got. I figured we would do like a very neutral eye. I did film this look if you guys are interested. It's already live. Make sure you go check it out. It's so easy minimal makeup I promise you you can still see like my freckles and stuff like that it looks very like natural but yeah anyway it says Lady Gaga what happened I really wanted to love this product however I absolutely don't it is sticky like peanut butter sticky when you open your mouth to talk you can see the stringy bits of it stretching between your lips you have to reapply at least two coats to get a solid color and your lips feel weighed down it also clumps up near the corners of your mouth then when it's time to get it off it takes supernatural forces to remove <laughs> okay I use pie skincare that's what it says I use pie skincare Lightworks to get it off and even after that parts of my lips were stained with the color not worth the money I won't use it again somebody else a very next one says not worth the money I had high hopes but no better than a $12 tube at CVS it's sticky and feels heavy I will say it applies beautifully and does dry in 15 seconds but a lot of shine went away not worth the money wow more people not a keeper some people said love long-lasting lipstick I'm hoping this works you guys this is the red I went with cherry red here is the shade and and the applicator. They had pinks, they had peachy tones, they had a beautiful like brownie nude. We have to shake it, hold on, let's shake and talk. I chose a red because it is very hard for brands to make a beautiful red that even when it were to fade, it's going to fade in a graceful and beautiful way without bleeding and getting under your lip area and all of that. But also when you wanna build on top of whatever you already have on, it can get chunky and clumpy and it'll look weird and emphasize the lines on your lips. A red will also emphasize your dry ass lips and you guys know your girl has some really really dry lips now to be fair not I'm still shaking it by the way to be fair not everyone actually hydrates the lips prior to applying product I myself tend to forget so I figured don't hydrate your lips let's see how this really really is going to work universally in a sense and then I went with the red because if this is really gonna be transfer proof and it's gonna you know last the entire day I have a big ass jug of water here hold on 
then we shouldn't be afraid of transfer, right? So I'm shaking and it says shake it really good. This is a glass bottle, by the way. I don't know how much is too much. I'm afraid this is gonna fall and break. And another thing is this is supposed to have a glossy finish. So could you imagine a red lip gloss that doesn't smear everywhere? Innovative. And that's why I went with the red because if we're gonna really try this out and put it to the test, red is the way to go. I'm so scared. Okay. Oh. If I do this now, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna bring you guys up close. Right now, it is 11.52, okay? Um, you may or may not be able to see this. It is chunky. It is clumpy right here. What are that is chunks of pigment. I mean, I shook it. I shook it for a really long time. I'm hoping you guys can see all those gaps and clumps of product. It is most definitely not a smooth application at all. You see that right there? A lot of it's chunky. It's definitely not a graceful look like up close, I'm gonna tell you. Um, it feels hydrated right now in the sense of I can feel the little chunks, but it's something that I can kind of deal with. Um, if I do this, do you see how chunky it is? It's coming off. The clumps are totally coming off, which is not good. So this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna attempt to remove this and I will go ahead, exfoliate my lips and we'll do this again. All right, you guys, I have exfoliated. My lips are burning because they hate me right now. I have such sensitive lips. We're gonna go back in and shake this baby. This should not be that much work. Like I'd rather reapply my lipstick if need be throughout the day, maybe once, cause this is a lot. By the way, you know which one's amazing? They're similar to this, but they are by Urban Decay. Those are amazing and comfortable and glide and the applicators, everything. Okie dokie, let's get back in there and try. Oh, oh my God, my lips are burning. Uh, why are my lips burning? They're not touching. All right, let's do this again. This is hard. Not letting my lips touch. That looks better. So maybe it wasn't the formula and it was my crusty lips. Okay, let me bring you guys up. Never mind. <laughs> so it looked smooth and it looked better and then I did this. And now it's chunky and weird looking again. I did the 15 seconds. If anything, I give it more than 15 seconds. So, so long that you like apply it and do not clump your lips together, you're fine. The moment you do, it's gonna look like that. I don't like that, like at all. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do one of these. Cause it's not supposed to move. It's waterproof and transfer proof. I knew TikTok was lying. We are going to, I'm gonna play a little more just because. All right, you guys, it is 12.02 p.m. We're gonna start the wear test right now. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna have a few sips of things. It's not on my teeth yet, which is great. We're gonna sip on a few beverages. I am gonna have lunch. We're gonna see how this is gonna wear. It's a lipstick, it's a lip gloss, and it's a stain all in one. So maybe on initial, I don't like the way it looks because it's weird. I love the shade with the eyes. I think it pairs beautifully. However, it's just the finish. That's just killing me right now. I'm so used to it looking graceful and smooth and pretty and right now we're not there, which may be okay. I'm not gonna say this is a hot mess quite yet because I wanna see how it's gonna wear throughout the day, like I said. So I will check in with you guys and we'll see, we'll see how this wears throughout the day. But as of right now, I am not obsessed. Not yet.
it is 3 0 3 p.m. So it's been a few hours. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Ugh. So you previously saw I had a cucumber salad for lunch. So it had like a dressing that I made myself. It had olive oil, lemon juice, sriracha, the whole nine some spices. So there was definitely opportunity for this to break up. And then I've been working on my water. There's definitely some transfer. So you see some redness around here. So it's not waterproof me, huh? It's still shiny but it's sticky. It's building up here, separating here. The application is not where it was to begin with. I'm hoping this is like in a focus because look at it, hair straw is bleeding down here. It's chunky here, it's chunky around here. There's gaps of missing lippy here. It's just not cute. We've worn this for a few hours at this point. It's not gonna get any better, it's just gonna get worse. I went like this. Look. Look. No. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this lippy. I feel like there's no need to wear this for many more hours because it's just, it's only gonna get worse. First of all, let's do this. It's supposed to be transfer proof and waterproof, it missed the mark. Is it long wear? Yes. Is the fact that it is actually transferring and it's not really waterproof a deal breaker? No, I'm gonna say no only because most liquid lipsticks are going to perform this way, especially if you're gonna wear a red lippy, it emphasizes all the mushy gushy ugliness at some point or another throughout the day. For me, I say no because of formula. It's so sticky, even though it's been hours. I think it was formulated that way on purpose so your lips will feel hydrated, which they do. They don't feel chunky in terms of like dry. And I'm gonna say from afar, it looks good. But girl, I'm staring at it. It is so patchy and it's weird. Like I'm at a point where I'd rather reapply then deal with this. And at $26, I don't think it's necessary. So I'm kind of disappointed. I'm going to grab my Bioderma and a towel, my towel that I use here to like clean swatches off with, and I'm gonna work on removing it. Now, does it feel heavy? It doesn't feel heavy on the lips. It just feels so sticky. Not even peanut buttery, it's just sticky. Almost like if you had a lollipop and it's nice and moist and wet, and then you rub the lollipop all over your lips and let it dry, that sort of sticky, and it's an uncomfortable sticky. Oh my God, you really have to rub it hard to take it off. It looks chunky in certain areas, but it doesn't feel chunky, so you could walk around looking like a hot mess on the lips, and you wouldn't know unless you take the time to look in the mirror. Oh my God, I still have some, it won't come off. All right, you guys, I applied a little bit of a lip liner and then a a uh, creamy, a <laughs> creamy gloss, cause girl, there's a lot going on. Listen, this is not gonna be the best combo right now. We have a lot going on. My lips are hating me. They're hating me. So I wanted to go lightweight on the lips. I was not gonna apply another liquid lipstick. I thought about it, girl, my lips burn right now. But the big question is, is it a hot miss or a hot buy? In my humble opinion. And it's very hard for me to find makeup that I don't like. This is gonna be a hot miss. Save your $26. Get your basics from the drugstore. Go to Ulta. Get the more affordable stuff that's absolutely beautiful and it's way more comfortable. That formula is just a hot mess, I think. And I'm pretty disappointed. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok rave about this formula and it's just not where it's at. When it comes to TikTok, although I love and truly enjoy short form videos, the reality is 60 seconds is 60 seconds. How honest can a review be in just 60 seconds? That's why whenever I do my videos, I like to do short form, but I also like to feature the products in full length videos like this one so that you can see how it wears and you can see the reality of how the product acts, performs, and all of that. If you yourself have tried this product, let me know in the comments section below whether or not you loved it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And if you had your eye on this product and you changed your mind, let me know what convinced you to change your mind. Was it my honest review and the fact that I did a wear test? Was it the fact that I brought you guys super up close and you were able to see how patchy and weird it was? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join a little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. I upload six days out of the week because I want to make sure I have fun ongoing content at all given times. I'm going to go ahead and recommend two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out. And if you do, I will see you guys over there.
Bye, guys.